Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast, where we have breaking news. According to Light On College Sports, Isaiah Land, the former FCS defensive player of the year last year with 19 sacks in the season, absolutely incredible production. Isaiah Land has been reinstated, which means he will suit up Sunday for the Orange Blossom Classic versus Jackson State. Now, this is, I think this is big and it potentially won't change anything, right? So I kind of, I kind of want to talk about it because this is big for FAMU. I know, you know, Isaiah Land is their best player. They are excited. They are very happy to have him back. You know, although they're already in Miami, he's going to have to make that drive. And, you know, of course, he's going to make that drive to Miami to be able to suit up. But, you know, that's, that's that. They're excited for him. You know, when it comes to the benefits for FAMU, you know, you get your best player back. A con is that because he didn't play last week, he's, I expect him to kind of, He's going to come into that game and he's going to have to knock the rust off because he hasn't played a game since last year. So he's going to have to knock that rust off the same way Jackson State is going to have to coming in week one. You know, like it's different, you know, even though you've been practicing, it's different when you're actually in a game. Plus, what does this mean for Jackson State? In my opinion, nothing. I don't think him being reinstated her, uh, changes their game plan. It doesn't at all. As a matter of fact, if we're being honest, last year, he didn't really impact the game in the Orange Blossom Classic. There was nothing that he did. As a matter of fact, with that bad offensive line that Jackson State had last season, he didn't really do much. I think he got to Shador one time, but that was like on a chase down uh, tackle. And I, it may have counted as a sack, but he wasn't really you know, get into the door like that. So, you know, with this upgraded offensive line that we are anticipating for, for Jackson State, I kind of expect, I kind of expect that to be a battle uh, between the offensive line and Isaiah Land. I don't think him coming really changes anything. It doesn't, it doesn't scare Jackson State at all, but this is good news for FAMU. You know, it, it can't, it can't hurt. Uh, but it can't hurt, but to have your best player uh, back in the game. Now, when it comes to them in that UNC game and how they perform, um, they're, they're already riding the high off of a moral victory of that game because they felt like without 20 players, we took it to a Power 5 school who has a lot of talent, a top 25 team, I believe UNC uh, is. Now with their best player, that confidence is going to magnify you know, it's going to magnify. But, you know, I'm not expecting Isaiah Land to come in and shut things down. Because I didn't even I didn't even see him do it in the Orange Blossom Classic last season. That's no hate. But this is you know, this is this is good for this is good for you uh UNC. This is good for FAMU, but it also doesn't mean a damn thing for Jackson State. They're gonna go out and they're gonna play, you know, business as usual. But it's going to be interesting just from a spectator standpoint because now we get to see, like, there should be no excuses for FAMU. There already wasn't going to be any because of how you played at FAMU and because you took uh, knowledge, credit for that and you bragged about that and y'all are calling for the upset in the Orange Blossom Classic. I don't think it's going to happen. But now that you have Isaiah Land back, if you lose, it's no excuses. Don't want to hear the ineligible stuff, the ineligible talk, none of that. No excuses. The Orange Blossom Classic is now interesting again. And I cannot wait for Sunday to get here. Lord knows I can. I'm going to be dialed in. I swear. But just updating y'all on that news. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Also, CJ Bowler for FAMU. He's been reinstated as well. So Isaiah Land, CJ Bowler. All right. But with that being said, man, you're watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. I'm out. Peace.